Let's take a quick detour for a moment to talk about precision. I was pretty confused by this when I first started writing shaders, not that the concept was difficult to understand. Your choice of precision basically defines where you want to draw the line between performance and numerical accuracy. At its worst, it's a choice between either high frame rates but potentially buggy renderings, or correct renderings but sluggish performance. Offering precision as a choice to developers exists in compiled languages like C and C++ where you can choose between a float and a double, for example. Choosing data types often has more to do with memory usage, but it also has a performance impact. It also shows up indirectly in JavaScript. Here, numbers in your programs are by definition double precision 64-bit values, but internally, in Chrome's V8 or Firefox's SpiderMonkey, numbers often initially exist as 16-bit integers. For example, you could profile these three loops. You can expect the first loop to execute quite a bit faster than the second or third, simply because the lower precision allows optimizations that result in faster execution. So this was not the confusing part. What got me was all about where you had to specify precision for your shaders to compile at all. And the quick answer? For the vast majority of programs, you only need to specify precision in fragment shaders and only for floats. The long answer? Basically, except for booleans, every variable that you declare must come with a precision qualifier. But certain data types come with default qualifiers, that is, qualifiers that are pre-declared and globally scoped. For these data types, you can omit a precision level if the default level is already adequate for you. And what are these data types? In vertex shaders, they are floats, ints, sampler 2Ds, and sampler cubes. In fragment shaders, they are ints, sampler 2Ds, and sampler cubes only, no floats. So if you want to declare a float in your fragment shaders, you must supply a precision or your shader won't compile. Same goes for vectors and matrices, because basically they're composed of floats. So this compiles, but this doesn't. Still doesn't. And it still doesn't. But now it does. Floats aren't the only data types affected. If you use any of these sampler types in either your fragment shader or your vertex shader, you must either specify precision for that variable or a default precision for that individual data type. Now, what should you use for your floats? Currently, the overwhelming consensus is to specify default medium precision for fragment floats. But remember, that's a choice. And it's something that you can change later based on performance feedback. There's actually a lot more to explore on this, but for me, that's about all this deserves.